What's going on you guys? Rob's over the highway here. Today is Sunday. Today we are going to be going over a couple of unique tools and unique things that I have that maybe you don't need, but they're kind of cool. Um, this is kind of scattered all over the board, right? Like we could go into detailed videos on each individual tool, right? But this is going to be kind of a simple video um, on an overview of some of the things that I think are unique in my ways of doing things. I've highlighted in many other past vlogs some of the other cool tools I have, like the wall scanner. Um, what else? Well, any tool, really. I mean, yeah, cool wall scanner, uh, cool chainsaws, and flashlights, and, and miter saws, and other things like that. But what are some unique tools that I guarantee you most people probably don't have or don't think about? Um, let's dive right in. So this one right here is by far the most unique tool. This is called the Bosch Easy Cut 12, okay? This is not available in the U.S., this is a baby powered chainsaw. Baby. Like, it's literally a chainsaw. Like, it will cut your finger off so quick. You need to be careful with it. Take a look at this guy. I imported this from Germany. I bought it on Amazon German, Germany website or UK or something to that effect. I'm going to cut myself just trying to get this thing off. But it's a little baby chainsaw. And there's my finger. Look at the size of that. It's a freaking chainsaw, guys. How cool is this? The reason I bought this, other than the fact that I had to have the world's smallest chainsaw, is that it actually works damn well. Here in the U.S., there's some ridiculous red, uh, red tape and regulations that don't allow certain tools to be built. Like, you literally can't get them in the U.S. because of some... Bean counter somewhere going, oh, that's too dangerous. Well, I got, an, I got news for you. Again, I'll defer to my previous statements. Remove all warning labels and let the problem fix itself. If there's a tool that's got a big, sharp blade that's spinning around really fast, don't touch it because it's going to cut you. Now that we got that small little detail figured out, if you ha can't figure out by now to stop touching things that can cut you, well, let's dive, right, let's dive back into it. So anyways... This is a little baby chainsaw. And I'll tell you right now, there is nothing faster out there than this. There is no sawzall that's going to cut quicker. And there is no, um, like, jigsaw. I mean, it's, the only thing that would probably cut faster than this would probably be like a regular worm drive. Like a regular seven and a quarter inch circular saw. Or a miter saw. But that has limited use. This is small, it's nimble. You can hack the end of a 2x4, you could hack a 2x4 and a half in just under 6 seconds with this tool. It's a 12 volt tool guys, it's extremely powerful and it's and it's rough, like it's a rough cut, right? Like this, and they make different blades for it, they make tile blades, they make metal blades, they make all sorts of different blades for it. This is a wood cutting blade that's on there. So again, I can go to a whole video alone just on this guy, but I had to get a special US charger too because the charger came out was a UK charger. But this thing is freaking cool guys. It's just a cool toy. Toy. <laughs> I called it a toy. It is really a toy, right? It's a cool tool, guys. Okay, let's take a look, see if we can get it, get it spun up. Switch hands, because, you know, I want to cut my finger off. Cool things, right? So that's one cool, unique tool. Okay, these are going to be grouped in the same category. These are power stations. So this is an Omnicharge. Now, I... I funded this on Indiegogo years ago. Shame on me for not labeling when I got it, right? Anyways, this thing's cool as hell. It's it's got a little LCD screen, and you could program you could program it to output different um, voltages here, and you could power a computer directly DC to DC. It's got an inverter built in, pure sine wave. Um, well, maybe it might not be pure sine wave, but it's a 100-watt inverter. You can plug a regular AC into it. It's powered by 18650 batteries. It's 100 watts. Something very small and simple like this will run a computer for... It'll run an average tough book for an additional two to three hours. It's a good little nugget to have. It's lightweight. It, you can bring it in on an airplane, and it just gives you power. It gives you USB. It gives you, you know, DC to DC to charge directly, or if you don't want to deal with it, you just, just plug in AC, and, and it just works. Um, my son, my younger son has asthma, 
we use this, we relied our lives on this. My son's life was on the line with this. He had had an asthma attack and was doing very poorly a couple years ago. We spent the um, entire Christmas Day and Christmas Eve in the ER. It was hor horrifying. Like, it was one of the worst experiences of my life. But anyways, we got past it, and we use a nebulizer on this. It's cool. It works. It provides power when you need it. Okay, so that's one power providing device. This is another one. I had already done a previous video on the Eagle power equipment. This little guy is kind of cool. Now, this is not pure sine wave, but this is a 150 water. And this little guy here will power anything, man. Like, this is really cool. You just slide your 56 volt battery pack in, and it gives you some more USB to charge your phone and an outlet. The power's out, and you don't want to deal with lugging out a generator. You don't want to deal with uh, lugging out a big power station with a bunch of big batteries or lithium batteries, a big giant inverter. This little guy here serves a purpose. You can charge all your phones pretty much at the same time, or phone and tablet. You can power multiple lights with this. Like, you could plug in 50... You could power basically as many lights as you need for your whole house. Like, you could literally plug in, like... Like ten lights or more into this, like this thing is cool. So and I've used it as such. So power, power. We love power. Okay. What's another thing? Um, this antenna is not on the list. This is just the antenna that was on the roof before I put my new Andrews antenna up. Okay. What's this? This looks like a regular Arlo Go camera, huh? Nothing special. It is special. This camera is a 4G LTE only device. It doesn't do Wi-Fi. There's no Wi-Fi on it. This camera has a SIM card and you pay for Verizon service. And they have it on other providers too. I think they have it on AT&T as well. But this is the Verizon branded version. It's not cheap, but it serves its purpose and it pays for itself if you think about it. Before we sold the lake house, it was up there. We had no internet connection at the lake house. So we had to have, well, I wanted a way to monitor it because we're, go months without being up there. This allows you to use and monitor security cameras without having any sort of Wi-Fi or any sort of landline based internet. Most internet connections are between $60 and $100 a month. So, okay, yeah, it's a three or $400 camera. Verizon's 20 a month. It pays for itself if you don't have internet and you wanna keep an eye on a piece of property or anything. You could bolt this thing to the side of a freaking tree. It's got like a three month battery life. It's insane. They sell USB connection. It's got a solar panel to keep it charged. Like, it's a really, nice camera for consumer grade. It ain't a Panasonic, but it was never meant to do that. It's a consumer grade camera, but it goes directly to 4G. So if you have service, 4G LTE signal on Verizon, which obviously Verizon is the best provider in the country as far as coverage is concerned, but if Verizon works or in your case AT&T works and you have a piece of property that you want to monitor, this is the right tool to do that. Um, there, are, I, I, there might be others out there, but I know this one works very well. We got eight minutes left. Okay, this one here. This is the only Milwaukee tool that I own. This guy here, um, I got for a crazy deal. Like, it was on a garage sale group. It was brand new. I want to say I paid, like, literally $20 for it. This is easily, like, 100 or probably with the kit and the battery and everything I got. Probably even a $150 tool. It's just an inspection camera. Um, you got a light on the end of it. You could rotate this screen. It's just a cool thing to have. Um... Would I spend 150 on something like this? Probably not. I would probably go and purchase a USB inspection camera that works with your cell phone through like the USB port on the bottom of your phone. Like Depeche uses one or Depth Stats or something. Clay got me a one. So I have one like that. But this was like on crazy, like I think the guy just either needed money or like maybe his wife was selling it because they got a divorce or something. Like, I don't know. I This thing was crazy cheap. That's the only reason why I bought it. It, I would prefer to walk because that's what my battery platform is, but this deal was too good for me to pass up. So I acquired it. So yeah, inspection camera. So that's one cool tool. Now, these are these are the last three tools. Now we'll, we'll get through these one at a time, but we're running out of time here. Okay, this one here. Again, I wish I had a bigger viewer on. I was gonna say, does anybody know what this is? So what this tool is, is a cock spreader. A lot of people put caulk in, they re-caulk their tub or their sink or something to that effect, and then they lick their finger and they go and then they wipe the excess caulk off of your finger. Why? I, why do that? This tool costs like three dollars and it's gonna put a beautiful edge on that bead of caulk, right? Like if you're like me and you're a homeowner and you like, I don't have like master caulk skills. Like I can't just run a bead of caulk. I, I don't have a powered caulk on either. I've got like a cheap, like literally like a cheap 99 cent 
you know, clock on here. Let me just whip out my flashlight so you can actually see it. But, you know, if you had a powered clock on, I think you may not need this tool. But a powered clock on is going to cost you like 200 bucks for a good one. So, again, this is beautiful. You put the clock down and just use this to smear the quarter out. Now, I put the wrong clock in here. I showed you in another video. But this is the tool I used for this. Like, it's just phenomenal. You just grab it and you just go straight down and it just works. It's a simple tool. I've got two of them. It's a simple tool and it just works well. So I, this, I thought it, it was cool enough to make it to this list. Most people don't know about this. This, what the hell is this? This is a ratcheting uh, pipe cutter. This can be used to cut EMT, can be used to cut pop, copper pipe. Um, I've used it for um, cutting pretty much any type of pipe. What a lot of people buy, let's say they're doing work here and they gotta cut a pipe. Um, let's say in the instance of that pipe right there. Let's say you needed a cut up there. With any other tool, you wouldn't be able to do it because you have to rotate the length of the tool around to get that done. Now they do sell, and I do own, other pipe cutters, right? Like this is the little low profile one. And then this is the, this is, dude, this is a good tool here too. This was a made in Germany. My, my next door neighbor got this for me. My old next door neighbor got this for me. And I was helping him do some electrical work. This is like $70 just for this. Like I would never buy a tool like this. I just feel like it's too much money, but it's a damn good pipe cutter. But again, you have to be, have enough room to rotate it. So this little device here actually costs less money. And, and it ratchets. The inner portion of it ratchets. I, it's kind of hard to show on camera unless I actually hooked a pipe up, but it ratchets. You rotate it and it, it spins a certain way and it ratchets. I wish I could show that. I want to see if I can do this. Oh, hey there. There we go. See how that rotates? So that enables you to get in tight places and, and cut pipes easily. Okay, last item on the list. Okay, and I think that this, I got this primarily for fishing, right? This is a really badass cool pair of pliers. It's super long and it's like triple hinged. So you look at the design on that. For this, for fishing, a lot of a lot of big pairs of pliers, they might only be up to here. But then they got two hinges. This one's got three hinges on it. So I don't know, it just works well. Like this is a phenomenal plier. You could use it for more than just fishing, but I got this because this is the right tool to do what you need to do to get a, a hook out of a fish's mouth. So that's, I thought that this was cool enough to make it to the list, this triple hinge, triple hinge pair needle nose pliers. Um, so that's it. Those are the eight tools that I think are cool and unique. And I think have a purpose in this world, maybe a little more niche -y. You might not necessarily need any of these, although it's never bad to have more power for backup and whatnot or a mini chainsaw, but yeah. Maybe you don't need them all, but I thought I would share with you my way of doing it and all the cool little niche tools that I have. Uh, and that's it. So have a great rest of your weekend, and thank you for your time.